Our today's topic is anatomy of the iris. Iris is the anterior most part of the uveal tract. It is a thin circular disc corresponding to the diaphragm of a camera. In its center is an aperture of about 4 m diameter called pupil which regulates the amount of light reaching the retina. At the periphery, the iris is attached to the middle of anterior surface of the ciliary body. It divides the space between the cornea and lens into anterior and posterior chambers. Macroscopic appearance. Anterior surface of the iris can be divided into a ciliary zone and a pupillary zone by a zigzag line called collarette. 1. Ciliary zone. It presents series of radial streaks due to underlying radial blood vessels and crypts which are depressions where superficial layer of iris is missing. Crypts are arranged in two rows, the peripheral present near the iris root and the central present near the collarette. 2. Pupillary zone. This part of the iris lies between the collarette and pigmented pupillary frill and is relatively smooth and flat. Microscopic structure. The iris consists of four layers which from anterior to posterior are 1. Anterior limiting layer. It is the anterior most condensed part of the stroma. It consists of melanocytes and fibroblasts. Previously this layer was called endothelial layer of iris which was a misnomer. This layer is deficient in the areas of crypts. The definitive color of the iris depends on this layer. In blue iris this layer is thin and contains few pigment cells. While in brown iris it is thick and densely pigmented. 2. Iris stroma. It consists of loosely arranged collagenous network in which are embedded the sphincter pupillae muscle, dilator pupillae muscle, vessels, nerves, pigment cells and other cells which include lymphocytes, fibroblasts, macrophages and mast cells. The sphincter pupillae muscle forms 1 mm broad circular band in the pupillary part of the iris. It is supplied by parasympathetic fibers through third nerve. It constricts the pupil. The dilator pupillae muscle lies in the posterior part of stroma of the ciliary zone of iris. Its myofilaments are located in the outer part of the cells of anterior pigment epithelial layer. It is supplied by cervical sympathetic nerves and dilates the pupil. 3. Anterior epithelial layer. It is anterior continuation of the pigment epithelium of retina and ciliary body. This layer gives rise to the dilator pupillae muscle. 4. The posterior pigmented epithelial layer. It is anterior continuation of the non-pigmented epithelium of ciliary body. At the pupillary margin it forms the pigmented frill and becomes continuous with the anterior pigmented epithelial layer.